Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is November 11th. It's Saturday. Uh, it is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I kind of found myself at a little bit of a, at a lull right now. Really, I couldn't even make up something to do right now. Um, so I thought I'd take this uh, good little video. Welcome to our winter wonderland. Take a look around you. The only reason the trucks look halfway decent is because I used my personal truck a little while ago and it melted off and I brushed off the work truck. Yeah, welcome to winter. Uh, it was the first snow shoveling of the year. This started, I'm going to assume about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And it's just finally, it just finally stopped. I, I should have done this video an hour ago. We had one of our, I'm going to say five or six whiteouts since this morning. It hasn't stopped snowing. It just has. <coughs> um, we were not supposed to get this. Um, the weatherman was a little bit wrong. We were supposed to get some snow today. But uh, not this. We got a good amount. If I had to take a wild guess, I say good amount, but hell, I bet you there's five inches on the ground. Anyway, here's the deal. I'm enjoying this actually. Um, I, I really am. It's actually beautiful weather. I've got an uninsulated flannel on. I'm, I'm more than comfortable. It's beautiful weather. Here's the thing about all this snow. <clears throat> <laughs> You're about to see a, a giant mess here to come because we've got 40 degrees and rain coming uh, This is gonna create one hell of a mess, but whatever what are you gonna do you work through it and happens every year So yeah, it's been a really good day today uh, All the chores are done plus a couple little extra things um, Yeah, just a real nice enjoyable Saturday I hope you're having the same. I really do. Um, kept real busy. Just little stupid little odds and ends. Um, <clears throat> normal chores. Of course, we're on full-time barn cleaning every day now. So there's, you know, uh, that regiment was followed here this morning. And uh, all is well. Here's the biggest reason for this video. Um, 500 subscribers. Wow. Thank you, folks. Um, I touched on it a little bit on my drive home video about my appreciation and 500 subs. And actually, I think it's about 520 right now. Uh, I think I hit 500 a couple few days ago. Um, I'm here to, number one, thank you and do the only thing that I can do for you to show my appreciation. And that's we're going to try and make a, a nice little video here. Um, we are going to visit all the cattle groups. Holstein steer lot the inside barn which all the animals are in there right now You've I don't think you've ever seen that before so uh, you're about to right now And then we're gonna go visit the uh, the beef yard So I can't give you much to show you my appreciation what I can try and do is give you a decent video um, and, and show you more about what what's around here and my life and everything and, um, Yeah So I'll, I'll say right now uh, thank you for the subscriptions subscribers uh, watching the videos it means a lot for me to me um, I've always said I'm not out for glory here I'm not out for I didn't set out for subscribers or a, a whole bunch of views it started out just being just for me sorry I know how greedy that sounded but it really did um, but of course that changed immediately once I started getting some views and Hell, I had gotten like 20, 25 subscribers. I'm like, why? How in the hell are people actually interested in me and want to listen to me? I found great joy in it, and uh, I'm, I'm just tickled pink about uh, the views and subscribers. So, anyway, I'll stop there because now I'm rambling and I'm going to stop. I'm trying to do a better job of that. Tell you what, we're going to go visit inside the barn first. Okay, now I've been kind of leading you guys astray for a while. 
I keep calling it the Holstein Springer heifers. Hold on here, folks. Well, it's true. The barn does get full of Holstein Springer heifers. These are young Holstein heifers. When I say Springer, young Holstein heifers that are about to have their first calf. And it's timed out to where it's anywhere from February, March, or April. When we stopped milking, this barn was always full of Springer heifers. Well, we've got a full barn, but it's not just Springer heifers anymore. It, there's actually only about, I think there's 12 or 13. <clears throat> now you're gonna have to pardon the, 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 the dirtiness of some of these animals, but you need to understand they go outside for about five or six hours a day, and of course they need to lay down, and it's, it's wet out there. Not only is there some uh, Holstein Sprinter heifers in here, there's also some Holstein steers. Now these are, these are all dads. There's also some uh, crosses. Actually, there's two male, two female. Uh, excuse me, that's the wrong way to put it, I'm sorry. Two steers and two, uh, two heifers. Um, here's a couple of them right here. Dad actually took these on trade this past last spring on uh, a round bale sale. Uh, there was a man that was in desperate need of some round bales. And uh, I'm not going to say times were tight. Maybe that was. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. But uh, he had uh, asked Dad if he was willing to uh, do a little barter and uh, worked out real nice. They're, they're good animals. So, yeah, we, we actually got kind of a mixture in here. You do have the pregnant Holstein heifers with their first calf. You have some Holstein steers in here. And we got some, uh, some crosses. The whole name of this game is keeping the barn warm in the winter. You do not want to let your barn go cold, period. Uh, a barn will deteriorate and die in a real hurry if it's left cold. So, and uh, my, uh, my Holstein steers here in these pens, they're here to keep the barn warm as well. And uh, the other great part of this is, you know, all these guys and gals that are in this barn are going to grow just tremendously better than if they were just out in the lot. It's actually pathetically amazing how much more they grow. So, all right, we're at eight minutes. I don't think I can go over 15 minutes, I, I think. So we better hurry here a little bit. So this is the inside of the barn here, folks. This is the way it's gonna be all winter. Here's the lean-to pen. Some of these guys. These are Holstein steers. These are the smallest ones um, of what I kept over. <clears throat> all right. It's pretty obvious. We're, oh boy I tell you what's awful is when it when it's all muddy and you get the uh, sunken tractor tire tracks <clears throat> and then it freezes we're talking ankle busters oh don't get all excited All right, these guys are busy with mineral. Guys and gals, excuse me. These yearlings that you see here, <coughs> the ones with the uh, yellow tags on them, those are steers. We just moved that mineral tub over here this morning. And uh, yeah, they're busy on mineral. So, Obviously, this is the silage wagon. You can see this nice corn silage. 
they love it. They haven't been doing a very good job of cleaning it all up like they had been though. I'm gonna blame it a little bit on the weather. And of course you got those guys there, those gals there. They're busy with a round bale. And before they all leave, you got this crew over here that was kind of taking a little break and hiding in the shelter, which is where the uh, floating, the uh, water tank float is. <clears throat> That's supposed to be non-freezable. No, I don't think so. It freezes. Don't be getting excited now. It's all okay. Pink tag yearlings are heifers. That's a big one right there. So this, uh, this is the beef herd's shelter for the winter. Um, it works. It probably should have been a lot bigger. Um, I have a very good feeling it's going to be built. It's going to be uh, added onto very much sooner than later. And here's one of the uh, one of the water tanks. So, there's the beef yard. I'm at 12 minutes. Just never enough time, is there, folks? All right. Well, I walk over to the... Uh... Over to the Holstein steer lot. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of bragging. Pretty excited. Uh, got very nice plans this evening. Actually, here in about a few hours, I got to get my butt in gear. Uh, very nice little lady is coming to the farm. And I'm going to get a homemade lasagna dinner. Corn on the cob and salad and everything. Yes, I'm doing a little bragging right now. This weather's gonna make it even that much better. Yeah, good stuff. So, as everybody knows, the calf yard is shut down. Nothing's going on there. There's nothing in the overflow pen. Here's the open cap John Deere. Of course, you can see all the bales and the round bales of straw. We are in the Holstein steer lot now. They're doing pretty good on corn silage. I'd like to see them a little bit better. And they just absolutely attack that second crop grassy hay. All right, these guys are dirty. Tomorrow morning there's going to be another, uh, and you guys need to understand here, it's been snowing, it's been wet, it's been muddy, it just finally froze up. These guys are going to get a, a couple round bales or a round bale of uh, straw tomorrow. They got one that they're all huddled around right now, they need another one. They might even get that tonight. These guys are doing real good, real well, they're eating really good. kind of time we got here 14 minutes never enough time hey eh, folks all right I'll just finish this here I'm not gonna waste time walking here's the rest of the steer lot you can obviously see the uh, round bale ring you're gonna be seeing them eating baleage here in just a little bit about a blink of an eye um, and when I start feeding baleage uh, I'll be feeding two at a time and then of course another ring will be used for dry hay then of course you see the feeder wagon. I'm pretty damn sure that I'm going to be filling that full of silage tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Which I'm good and okay with. I made a decision today. 
I'm not leaving tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, for work. Um, part of me says I probably should, but we're really not going to be running and gunning until uh, Monday, Monday about 10 p.m. We have that one last cantilever to put up, one last bit of night work. And uh, I decided I'm going to kind of bite the bullet. I'm going to stay here all day tomorrow, which is going to be real nice on a Sunday. <clears throat> I'm going to stay here all day. And then Monday morning, um, the second Monday, the second morning feeding is done. Um, I will then be taking off. Get down there, get about four hours of sleep, grab a hotel, and away we go. So anyway, all right, folks, this is a very long video. I don't even know if I can upload this whole thing. I hope I didn't waste my time. Thank you for the 500 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I always love your uh, the comments, um, most of them anyway. And uh, I hope everybody's having a very nice weekend, a good day. I hope you have nice plans tonight and uh, a good Sunday tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to think up of something real nice to take a video for tomorrow. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. Um, stay warm. We'll talk to you sooner and later.